What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can play your PlayStation 4 on your Mac or PC. So the things you're going to need for this obviously are a Mac or PC, which I have on the right of me. You're going to need your PS4 controller, your PS4, and you're going to need a micro USB to USB cable. You know, the one that comes with the controller itself. I'll explain why you need this later, but let's get started. So the first step you're going to want to do is go up, go to your settings, and then you're going to want to find remote play connection settings. And you're going to want to make sure this is enabled, this top one. All right. Once you've done that, you're going to go to account management, which I believe is right here. And then from account management, you're going to hit activate as your primary PS4. And mine is already activated, but if yours is not the primary, you're going to hit activate right here. And now we'll move on to the next step. Once you have activated the PS4 as your main PS4, you're going to go to settings. Well, we're already in settings and we're going to go to power saving settings. And then from power saving settings, we're going to hit set features available in rest mode. And you're going to make sure that these are checked. These two enable turning on PS4 from network. This is basically going to allow us to turn on the PS4 wherever we are in the world so that we can play the game off of it. Because obviously the game is still playing on the PS4. It's just being streamed to the laptop or PC, wherever you're using. The next step of this process, we're going to need to download the software on our computer. In my case, I'm using a MacBook Air, but this is the same, roughly the same for all computers. Basically, you're going to go to this website, which I'll leave in the description. You're going to hit download remote play. And then it's going to ask you Windows or Mac. Since I am using a Mac, I will hit Mac users. And then it's just going to tell me all the requirements and everything. And now just hit this button and just install. So we're going to open it. Installation process is different between Mac and Windows, but it roughly should be similar. Just go through whatever the installation is. Okay. Move the trash. And now we should have the application. Wherever you get your applications in Mac, it's this little launchpad thing. You can hit remote play. And now it says use this computer to enjoy. And now I will show you how you can use a controller. Once the application has been installed, we're gonna hit start. And keep in mind for the first setup, you have to be on the same Wi-Fi network. And see once we are, we can now do this. But now you wanna connect the controller because this is annoying. I'm gonna show you how to do that in the next step. To connect the controller is very simple. You want to grab your controller. You want to hold the PS button and the share button right here. You're going to hold it. All right. Until you see that it's flashing. And then go to your device's Bluetooth settings. And you see it says DualShock 4. Now it says connected. So you can get out of system preferences. And as you can see, there's no gimmicks. That is the main screen right there. And this is my MacBook. And there you go. Now I can play whatever games I want. Let's load up a game real quickly. Here's FIFA. And boom. Joystick everything is working. And see, this is the same MacBook. Now, if you do have a faster internet connection, I recommend going here, going to the preferences, and raising the resolution to the highest and doing a high frame rate. If you do not have the best internet connection, I don't recommend doing this, but this works if you do have a good internet connection. And to get that online functionality where you can use it anywhere, you're gonna to wanna to hit sign in right here. And you're gonna to wanna to sign in with your PlayStation account. This will allow you to play anywhere in the world. This step is crucial if you wanna play everywhere else but your house. Okay, so I've just signed into my PlayStation account. This will basically allow me to use this thing anywhere in the world that I please. I'm going to hit start, search nearby. There you go. As you can see, this is still connected to my MacBook. I can prove it to you here. DualShock, it says disconnect. Therefore, this is 
connected 100 percent and yeah that's basically it thank you so much for watching if you have any other suggestions of videos you would like to see please let me know have a great day and see you soon